Hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, I Lose at playing Stellaris while Roach watches and laughs at me for making fun of him hey. for losing his Romania. Hey, now, I never laughed at you outwardly. <laughs> it was, I know, I know you, though. It was internal. It's, it was very much internal. <laughs> but anyway, um, I am down to one planet, and while building tall in this game is possible, it is kind of a, like, mid to late game thing. So I think there's going to be a little, a little time while I'm sitting here on this, this tiny, tiny, it's not even a, pl it's a moon. It's, it's a moon. It's a moon. It's not even a planet. It's a moon orbiting a multiple. They call it a mine. A mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's, oh man, I really, the, some of this stuff they need to, the, they need to, uh, like robot up. Capital world, governing ethics attraction, a hundred percent. Um, that doesn't apply to me. So. Yeah. But I mean, it's not the it's not the worst plan. I do have a Batharian power plant on it, so I am. So it is cranking out a, a healthy amount of, of power. So I mean, yeah. it's not it's not the worst. It's not the worst planet, but it's gonna be a little. A little bit of a of a of a doozy. I might have been able to help you more if I had realized that sectors only build, uh, only grow <laughs> pops if you let them mm -hmm. build robots. I forgot that that was a default setting. Uh, may maybe if you're playing yeah. a robot, uh, like or a mechanical race, maybe that should be switched off. I, I don't know if that's possible, but uh, yeah, paradox. Maybe maybe you could uh, maybe you could do some of that. You know, <laughs> fix that. Oh man, my uh, my physics research is ten, society research ten, engineering research is nineteen. So, uh, part of what I'm I'm, I'm hoping is that. Me, because I got fortresses on the on the tech now, and may, maybe I can get you know some good ships through engineering research to help me out and survive. But I mean, the te my te my techs right now are, are I'm looking at 150 months to get one tech because of the the lack of research, which probably is going to mean I'm going to need to replace some some buildings on my planet. Um. Why don't we go ahead and replace one of these power plants? Replace this with a. Ooh, actually, what we'll do is replace this one with a science lab. I forgot ethics or not ethics. Um, edicts were a thing. I, yes, I, 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 I forgot that a lot complete. too. Um, because I have the like, Grand Fleet uh, edict, yeah. and I I haven't had it on, and uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that that helped a lot. That's uh, 35% fleet capacity, complete. I think. Yeah, I went from having uh, 198. It was my max. Now I'm at 248. So mm. I'm at yeah. 28. Uh, I could probably disband some of these armies. As, uh, if, if, if they come for me, I don't, I don't think these armies are going to help me. So let's. why don't we get rid of a couple of them to save on the upkeep? Upkeep's not huge, but it's like 0. 0.6, but it's something. Let's get rid of a few. Let's keep six. So we're rebuilding complete. some buildings on the planet to try to, to max, get a little bit more science because that's kind of what I need right now. You need to tech up, you need to out tech them, which should be yeah, good because exactly. they get a massive decrease in their technological uh, speed or the cost mm -hmm. of tech uh, goes up with the amount of uh, pops you have in your uh, oh, yeah. in your uh, not nation your, your empire star star yeah. empire they're already inferior to me on tech it's just their fleet power is overwhelming is is that they just outmuscle me but so i gotta i'm gonna need to get some good old techs in here to really do this and penny's joined us <laughs> yeah. squeak 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 get your toys you need Drop. Good girl. Go get it. Okay. Uh, the hegemony and the confederation joined in a defensive pact. Alert. Construction the hegemony, complete. which is uh, the people to my south. South and the guys next to me. Ooh, I got and a the confederate. The 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 cop Joxy. Complete. Confederation. I got a cop, I got a non-aggression pact with the hegemony now. Oh. oh yeah. Well, they don't like me. That's that's the thing. Yeah, but I think maybe they're just saying that I might go to war with the Confederation. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't want to fight the replicators. 
<laughs> the replicators, yeah. Alright, so... I am almost done modifying my species because we gotta go we gotta go lean and mean <laughs> drop the fat <laughs> yeah we gotta we, we, we can't afford the our, our, our ruby encrusted nipple tassels anymore <laughs> can't 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 afford those luxuries like my c considering I have I have only Planetary one only one world and it is literally literally one size higher than the smallest possible planet. I have uh, I have energy credits of plus 22 and minerals of plus 60, so it's not that bad. Hmm. Oh, demand vassalization from the hegemony. Not happening. Not happening. Uh, tested that off screen, and unfortunately, my, my plan was to try to get the jump drive, because I, I tested this off screen to see if it was even feasible to continue playing this. I tested it off screen, got the dangerous tech, the jump drive, and I figured, hey, I can go, uh, you know, I can try to out tech them and maybe beat them with a, a correct, you know, uh, rock, paper, scissors fleet. And I'll get the jump drive, I'll jump over, and I'll be able to jump over their territory. But unfortunately, even if you're not using the hyper lanes and you're using the jump drive, you cannot cross over uh, territory with a closed complete. border. Even if you're not entering it, you're just, you know, warping from one side to the other it still counts as crossing their territory so sadly that wasn't work that wasn't going to work because i tested going to uh becoming their vassal and then you know building a, as a shield building up my power then you know warring for independence sadly not possible because i have no way i have no way of getting there because my only well i have a a frontier outpost left over here uh my only planet is completely enclosed uh, if you go down, I think one of the uh, one of the traditions. If you go down supremacy, I think the, as soon as you put a point into it, you get a bump to your um, border range. Border. I the twenty percent. I think I already have. No, I have. I do not have that. Um, that could help you. Technological acquisition successful. Let's see. Adopt border range plus twenty percent. Uh, I really don't. Yeah, there's a lot of space in between my two bubbles there. I don't think it would make any difference. Might give you more systems though that you could. Uh... It would. It would give me. It might give me. Twenty percent border range. Think about that. That's. Well, it would give me this one, but uh, it's not. There's. There's no stations working, and I can't get a construction ship over. It would give me this one. Um. Let's see. Where? Which one of these buttons shows me? Doodles. Doodles. Uh. The. That's not it. Opinion. Construction Diplo. complete. All right, we modified ourselves. Empire, unions, hyperlanes, sectors, details. There we go. So let's see. That would give me this system, which is empty. It give uh, that system's already mine. It would give me. I would get. The, I'd get one system that has anything in it, and it's three energy and four minerals, and that's it. It's it's quite. And I'm not. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at her because I'm. I'm about to 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 for a 42 months to tradition up, and then, uh, and I'll that'll finish complete. versatility, which will get me an ascension perk. And which which ascension perk? See, mega structures requires three other ascension. So I mega structures I can't get because it requires three other perks. Also, it requires you need to, uh... mega engineering tech. Yeah. So that's an engineering tech that you yeah, can't I have get. Yeah, I Mm-hmm. Ring world, same thing. Avoid born. complete. Deep space. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Unlocks habitats. So again, that's deep space installations. Master builders. Mega, mega structure build space. So no. World shaper is not going to do anything for me. Uh, synth age would give me machine modification points, but I'm kind of... I've kind of already done what I want off of that. The, there's only one in here that would do, and that looks like it would do anything for me, and it's naval capacity plus two hundred. Hmm. And I mean, I don't, eh, I don't know if I can. Construction. It's gonna take a long time before I could actually support a fleet that large. Complete. Hmm. 
I, it looks like it's the only extension perk I'm really going to be able to take that'll do anything. And even then, it's kind of a long-term kind of thing. Well, I mean... Complete. Might help. You never might, know. It might, Construction yeah. complete. Technological acquisition successful. Thinking about destroying another power plant to build another complete. research installation. Let's see. Technological hmm. acquisition successful. Stations, buildings, army pop. Do shi ships for do ships require power for upkeep? Uh, yes, but only when they're not orbiting a planet. Okay, so let's pull them off. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Army, I see station maintenance, building maintenance, pop maintenance, army maintenance, and module maintenance. But I'm not seeing any fleet maintenance. I would say ship maintenance, not not fleet. It doesn't uh, say that. And I'm looking at it right now. I have I have almost a hundred uh, ship maintenance, so it's a thing. I've got, I've got two point three. I got twenty three Corvettes, so they should be. Like I said, they they should not be in orbit of something. No, they're just they're just sitting out in my system. They're not not in orbit of anything. Mm. Construction station complete. building pop army and module, but there is no fleet or ship maintenance on this list. Huh. So that probably means I can afford to get rid of another power plant in exchange for a engineering facility. So let's replace this one, which is only producing six. With another science lab. Because right now I don't need power. I need, I need science ducats. Actually, uh, had some people commenting, going, "Hey, this series is pretty much just like a podcast with Stellaris complete. gameplay in the background." Oh. Construction complete. I'm like, yeah. all right with that. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, that, that was. I think that's what the the commenter was implying is like that was that that it was it was cool. Construction. Complete. I'd be happy to do a podcast with you if that ever became a a viable option complete. or a thing. Me it's... and uh, NG Paradox have been discussing doing a podcast. I, I just and... mean in general, like not even related to like you know paradox games or anything like that well our our idea was to um uh to do it bi-monthly and to the the maybe then the main bulk of it would be to cover all of like the dev diaries and stuff that come out in in the the period between the podcasts and then at the end tack on you know just like general gaming related news and stuff like that so that people listening could you know go to one go to one place and get all of their paradox related uh you know development news and then at the end of it if they wanted to keep keep listening it would just be other stuff other gaming stuff hmm. okay this is i'm starting to make a little progress on the tech stuff get get a little bit more get a little more techie well i'm finally building battleships what are the, what what are those sounds <laughs> it sounds interesting yeah don't you have no you have battleships successful uh i think theoretically i have battleships um let's look so we go here go here yes i do have battleships um i don't have any constructed Construction complete let's see it does say do cor corvettes not have maintenance it says there's maintenance uh, on these there is maintenance so i don't know maybe you've got a glitch or maybe they're just not enough to to matter Am I missing something here? Technological Station, building, successful. pop, army, module. I mean, with how well you normally understand things, you might be missing something. I mean, yeah, really. It's an option. Precursor discovery. Where? What? Oh, that was. I think that was somebody else discovering something. Construction complete. God, the music in Stellaris is driving me bonkers. <laughs> Yeah. It's not it's not normalized like it gets super loud so I turn it down and then the next track starts and I can't hear anything. For somebody who doesn't have functioning audio, you you really are an audio whore. It's Yeah, I know. <laughs> Construction complete. All right, time for my 
diplomatic alert. Military confrontation. Uh, military confrontation. So, Gemini and the complete. Assembly of Sons, which I don't even think I can see. Oh no, I can see them. Oh, they're the guys to your south, and they're and they're at war yeah. with the Hegemony. Okay. So I definitely don't need to clear blocker tiles. I definitely don't need core systems. I don't need that defender of the galaxy. Complete. That ain't me. So I can do force projection. Or the only other thing I, I could really do is the synthetic age. And get me machine modification points. I mean, maybe it'll come in useful. I mean, uh, th there's got to be some things like some machine... Uh, modification stuff that uh, could give you like an advantage like better research or something like that that's what i'm thinking so let's go ahead and let's, let's try that i mean because i'm 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 99 sure i'm not gonna out fleet power these guys if it comes down to this so let's look at my species construction complete and let's uh so that's here so, nope, not set rights. I want to modify template. So, well, I could spend it to get rid of bulky. So I, I, I stripped off the, the, the gold and the jewels. Construction. Complete. And now I can, I, I, I can rent. Uh, I could take off all the extraneous components. And let's see, resettlement. Which ones can I afford? Uh, that's not going to do it. Consumer goods, leader experience gain, robot build speed. So I've already got logic engines on in in my in my processor, which gives me you know ten percent bonus to all stuff. Um, so what am I looking? I got I can do minerals, technological consumer goods, successful. Uh, experience gain. I can do experience gain for leaders. So the only thing I'm really looking at that'll be helpful here is experience gain for leaders or mineral production plus ten percent. I'm thinking mineral production is going to be better than anything else. Hmm. Probably. So let's, uh, we're going to strip off all the bulky components and we're going to install uh, 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 drills. Power drills. Create template. Um, apply template to everybody. Apply the template. Construction. Did complete. the, uh, did those guys have fighters a lot? Or did they not have fighters? The ones that you they... fought in? They had, I don't think they had fighters. I seem to recall them using missiles and right. uh, kinetic weapons, I think. Alrighty. Building a uh, carrier-based battleship. Acquisition successful. Mm -hmm. I actually tried that off-screen, and uh, unfortunately, I just might my my fleet didn't have the staying power. For the fighters to really get more than a few shots in before the the, the parent ships were destroyed and they dispersed. Technological and I definitely think it's a a problem in the game that you don't have more control over your spaceports and that they don't upgrade to their their templates at all. Hmm. Construction complete. The fact that you can't, I don't know why, it, I mean, it's all the, all the mechanics are in there that you, for you to uh, be able to modify the template manually so you can actually tell your space stations what, what weapons and defenses to use. Uh, but the fact that they only use tier one weapons and they never upgrade to, to better complete. ones means that the space ports just get weaker and weaker and weaker throughout the game. Yeah, well, that's the point though. Because early on in the game, they're a bulwark against early rushes. But as time goes on, they become less and less useful, and you instead have to rely on other stationary defensive uh, measures that you build yourself or well, your fleets. It's a balancing yeah, factor. It, it if doesn't you... make any sense to only use Tier 1 weapons when you have Tier 5 weapons unlocked. Well, no, because that would make them more powerful, and you instead of being like 2K of you know, of power, you know, if you had Tier 5 weapons on a space station coupled with their like uh, their health, like, I mean, you're talking... You know, it'd be like 6K or something like that, or more. It would yeah, just keep, it would just keep is, growing. Which is about equiv 
Yeah, it, it would get to about it would probably get to about six or eight k, which is what a fort, would basically what a fortress gives you. Construction. But I mean, yeah, it'd be but like then you another, then you like have a, a balancing using problem. Using a musket versus an, an M16, it doesn't make well, any sense. Well, you still have a balancing problem because then it's not what's a the balancing point? problem. Well, no, let me finish. Got, then what's the point of a fortress? Because a space station costs like what a third or a fourth of what a fortress costs. If it goes up to the point where it's the same as a fortress, why build fortresses? Fortress you can put anywhere. Because yeah. you could put them elsewhere in the station. But you, you can, can have the entry and exit points. Yeah, but you could have you have a space station on all of your planets. And not only that, you could also put a space station, I think, on an orbital habitat. So you could technically have fucking space stations on every celestial body. You can't you can't you can't put a spaceport on, on non occupied worlds and the fortresses have big radiuses, so you can only put a few No, I didn't say non occupied worlds. I said if you had an orbital habitat, I think you can put a space station on those. Complete. And then it, then you become, then it becomes overpowered, because then you put a orbital habitat. It's not habitat. overpowered, because by the time they get up to the point where they ha we have 6 or 8k power, fleets are flying around with 20, 30, 40,000 k power. And what happens when somebody just riddles a system that somebody else has to take with these things? Like I just said, and now they then have to good, deal with... Then good for them, now they, they have, have to deal with defenses. like 50k no, of just success. space ports nothing else like it's just a spaceport and then you on top of that then you can have fortresses like it, it, it just creates a, a turtle mentality it really you're you're talking about a difference of a few thousand complete. fleet power when fleets are flying around with tens of thousands well i'm i'm, I'm saying complete. that a few thousand makes a difference i think it does it, it's tur it it makes like after the first hour or two of gameplay for uh the spaceports go from really strong to literally nothing at all because even at 2.7k fleet power when you're firing tier one weapons that's not anything that's not doing yeah any that's damage the at all. point of them but They're it doesn't only... make any sense it, it makes perfect sense from a it gameplay doesn't. design it does it do from a gameplay standpoint it makes no sense to put tier one weapons on a space station when you have tier five available because it doesn't matter about the tier, it matters about the balance. It's meant to become less effective, so you have to focus on other aspects. But it doesn't make any sense. No, that makes perfect sense, Ben. No, it, it doesn't. Makes, when yes, you it can does. Build a station. That'd be like saying you can, you, if you build a, when you have access to fortresses, you can only put tier one weapons on them. No, it isn't because a fortress costs seven thing. times more than a goddamn spaceport, and it's made only to for be initial build. Yeah, for the initial build, but then you also get a chance that it upgrades over time. It it has more, but it, it it costs more, no matter how what you put on like your normal station. And the other thing is, is that a normal spaceport is not supposed to be an entire military installation. You're also supposed to have other things you can put on it, like increasing of research. Name a what, what, name a single other game that has a tech tree where that forces you to use obsolete tech for no reason. Uh, let's see here. Construction. Uh, it could be argued that he, yeah, it could be argued that that Hearts of Iron Four technological acquisition has you successful. deal with un uh, with obsolete stuff because at a certain point, things like normal infantry become obsolete in comparison with your with motorized and stuff. But you don't have a full motorized complete. thing. Well, maybe not Hearts of Iron Four. The Hearts of Iron 3, you can't saying, have a... That's a shit yeah, game with no You can't balance. have a Hearts of Iron... You can't, in Hearts of Iron 3, you can't have a fully motorized army because that would tank your economy and it would also be entirely overpowered, which is why they balanced yeah, the it to the point... but doesn't force you to do that. Well, yeah, it does, because you can't have fully motorized military. Like, it's it's almost impossible. Like, it, it requires... You, you can, but the game doesn't force you into one logical, way or the other. You're not ben, physically you're prevented wrong. from doing you're it. You're just wrong. It is, no. a, it is a gameplay balance and design choice it that makes perfect a, sense. It's an oversight is what it is. No, it isn't. It is an oversight. Well, I mean, the, the audience will then, will weigh in. Then why, we will hear. Why, do the, why do the other stations not have to follow the same rule? Because they cost more, Ben. And they, they are made they specifically with a, zero other aspect to them. Build cost. I'm saying, with zero other aspect to them, they're a 100% military installation with no other purpose. They don't project power, they don't build ships, they don't create research, they don't create, pa they don't create like, electrical power, they don't, they don't do anything. It is 100% military, that is what they're made for. A spaceport 
is made for other things. A spaceport can build a colony. A spaceport can build a science ship. It can produce power through the solar rays. So that rays. makes sense for them to use muskets instead of M16s? No, it makes sense that they're not meant to be a military option, only in the beginning so of the game. Why, why, why is it that they don't just reduce the amount of uh, hard points, but then keep the tech up? That would do the same thing and make sense. No, it wouldn't, because then you're because that's not a stat that creates more of a problem. Because then they have to program that. At this point, if you look at it and you had to design oh, yeah. this, oh, a couple extra variables. That's really I, no, tough I'm saying, to Ben. I'm saying, if you had to design this, what's easier? Just having it stay static with a good medium, so that over time it becomes less effective, which is what it's supposed to do. That's their entire purpose. Or instead, now you're creating a variable in which the proportional amount of HP is reduced to the proportional amount of weapons, which has to be tailored because who knows what weapons you'll unlock or even get access to because it's a randomized tech tree. That, well, it doesn't that... make any... It does, it does, it's not any you're... harder in any way considering all of those functionalities already exist in the game. Really? Name an example of it happening. That a proportional amount of HP is degraded in correlation to a technology you get. There's already a ship designer. The functionality is already there. The ship designer already exists. And but the ship to... designer, as we know, can be cheesed. Do you want a fundamental part of the game? I'm t like, it's not optional. You need spaceports. Like, like you're, you, you can't do a game without spaceports. Now that I say that, somebody's going to do a run with only one spaceport. But if... Do you That's want... what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, uh, but do you really want something that fundamental? Do you like it, it would be equivalent to uh, God? What, what would the equivalency be? It, to be controllable by an individual that, Ooh. like, if you had to play multiplayer for God's sakes, like, think about that. Think about you having to fight multiplayer with a whole system of spaceports that are now also seven to eight k per spaceport. And what because... the fuck does it matter if you're at the end of the game when any stuff. fleet can outmatch it? Because if weapons if system. weapons become upgraded over time, there are weapons in the late game that can fire clear across an entire star system. So if you have a yeah, full... Yeah, you can put you, on ships. Yeah, you can put them on ships, but if what you're saying is the thing... If you put them on space to... stations, it'd almost be like they were useful. Yeah, and then what happens when you do that, and now you are facing a nine-planet space, uh, or a nine-planet system that has orbital habitats over every single ha uh, body, or all of, like, and all the spaceports are put on happy there, with that, and then you're dealing with almost 50k of, of points plus a fleet. It would be unbreakable. There'd be no way to get past it. No, it wouldn't be unbreakable. Yeah, if they put their fleet in there and then also if, put all their spaceports that are interlocking fields of if fire. If you're playing a micro game and you have a small, M uh, you have a small core set of uh, of systems that's heavily defended, it makes perfect sense for it to be hard to crack that nut. It's not impossible; it's just harder. And even like you're talking about having fifty thousand uh, fleet power in stations in a system, which would mean it need to be a huge system. And you'd have to be have all this super late game tech, which means you're which is what you're saying, enemies, super late game fighting, tech. You're you're probably no, I'm not talking about late game tech. I'm talking about tech I have right now. I have tier four weapons, and I'm firing tier one weapons at my enemy. Is the issue I'm having? You're talking about a difference, a proportionally not very significant, dis, uh, you know, difference in 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 fleet power when you're talking about fleets that range in the hundreds of thousands. It would make it makes no sense whatsoever to force the player to use bottom tier weapons. They're not forcing you to use bottom tier weapons. They're forcing yes, they your do. your one unit, a station, which is not a military point. asset, to use tier one weapons. It is a military asset, as it, it has fleet power associated with it. It has fleet power with it associated with it, so you don't get steamrolled in the early game, which is its purpose, other than its purpose of building things. Alert. That that that's that's its purpose, Ben. Yes, I understand what its purpose is, but it doesn't still doesn't make any sense to force you to use obsolete weapons. It doesn't make sense. I don't care how many different ways you word it. It doesn't make sense. Just saying it's because it's a game balance thing still doesn't make any sense because the fleet power proportionally will still get much 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 larger than any station. Construction complete.
Like, I am, I'm sitting here with a shitty tiny little fleet that is proportionally the same as my station right here. Okay. Which means I could take out a station just because I'm using better weapons. And this is like we're still in early mid-game territory here. Construction Check. complete. Yes, which is which is what it, it, that's how it's made to be. I don't, I don't I, like I don't understand how you're not grasping the aspect I, that it's I a design the decision. I dis I disagree with it because it also doesn't make sense from a design perspective. When you have access to everything, all the other design functionality in the game, it doesn't make sense to block complete. you out of this one for an arbitrary complete. reason that is at best a tenuous argument. Complete. Well, I vehemently disagree with you, but we are at no, the Oh, I got the weapons episode. coming. I'm actually getting pretty lucky on the rng Jesusness. Because we're at 31 minutes, so yeah, that's where we're over. This was you. Ah, uh, fucking hell. T tier 5 weapons that I'm not going to be able to mount on the space station for stupid reasons. Oh, thank Jesus you for Beth. watching. <laughs> thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, again. and agree with me in the comment section, because Roach is wrong, and we'll see you next time. Bye.